Hey, Jordan here. So my wife is sick this week. Sad, I know. Well, I thought I would be a good husband and make her something that she's wanted for a really long time now and record it so that I look good. We don't have a ton of storage space in our kitchen. Well, I mean, I guess for the average people we do, but I eat a ton of food because I cycle a lot. So there's just like a lot of snacks that I need to keep at the house at all times. We don't really have a place to put it, so it generally just kind of finds its way on the floor after we buy it, because we don't, it's gross. So I'm tired of that, I know she is, so we're gonna fix that problem today. We are going to build a pull-out pantry. So basically what this thing is, it's on wheels. You can pull it in and out of like tight spaces. So we're gonna build it and put it in between the refrigerator and this kind of like jutting out wall um, and it's gonna slide right in there and just pull it in and out. Um, that's the plan. I'm not a builder by trade by any means. I mean, I guess I did build this desk, which I absolutely love and it's super solid, but I feel like that was just luck. I just kind of make this stuff up as I go along. Um, so this is gonna be fun to see if we can actually do this properly. I have no idea how this is gonna go, if it's gonna be a total disaster, but let's just start and uh, see if we should stop. So I've got a lot of height to work with. It's the size of a refrigerator, so I mean, that's that's pretty tall. So I can fit basically eight various sizes of shelving. I think I can fit one 13 inch, two nine inch, and five seven inch shelves. And I got all the wood already at Home Depot, so we can just jump right into building this thing, figure this out. So I've got all my wood. Um, I've got all these little dowel rod things. These are what's gonna, you know, hold the like spices from falling off the shelf. I think it's gonna be a little complicated getting these on. I'm, I just can foresee that. Okay, I don't know. So I guess the next thing I do is just measure this out and, and mark them and cut them. That's what you do with wood. I just get so stressed out. It took me forever to go through and find these exact pieces of wood. If you've never bought wood, what you have to do is you, you get your board and then you look at it this way. And just make sure that it is not, you know, warped like, you know, like this, which it, you would be surprised at how many pieces of wood they sell that are just destroyed. So anyways, I need my other speed square. So I need to mark all these, cut them, and then I need to sand them. It's just, it's freezing outside. I don't want to go out there. I'm gonna go and cut, uh, whoa. I'm gonna go cut two, three of these boards. <laughs> I always get so stressed out by cutting. It's always easier than I think because I'm always so worried boards aren't going to be the same length. But I always forget I can just use the board to measure the other board so that it's exactly the same. It's really not that complicated. And I got this tool to just, you know, make sure that these are, sometimes they're like this. And uh, that means that Home Depot didn't do a good job mass cutting their boards. Because if they didn't, I'm going to have to cut the end, the end off. So then I'm just going to use this board to measure this one with. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and get done sanding as fast as possible. It's really cold. Uh, 220 grit sandpaper with my orbital sander, and I'm just gonna go over this really quick. Sarah said it doesn't need to be sanded, but my perfection itself is gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna start staining. The wood is all done, it's all sanded, everything is done, so then I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry. Last night, before I went to sleep, uh, I painted all of the dowel rods black. I was just gonna leave them the natural wood color like this. That took 
a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I stayed up kind of late. On this side of the room, man, these look really nice. I don't even think I'm gonna need to put a second coat of stain on it, which is great, because one less thing I have to wait for to dry. Uh, so I guess what I'm gonna do now is try and figure out how to put this thing together, which I really don't know the best way to go about doing this. This is all part of the process of just trying to figure it out. I've got wood glue and I've got hopefully enough clamps. I don't wanna like nail it together or screw it together. I don't think that, that would look very good. Kind of want it to look like one solid piece. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so what's basically happening right now is I don't have enough wood clamps. I thought I did, but I don't. So I'm asking all my neighbors if they have a wood clamp that I can borrow. This part is actually turning out to be a lot harder than expected, which is always how it goes. But there's just so many movable pieces of wood clamped down at exactly the right spot. So it's, you know, perpendicular, not tilted in any direction. And getting the dowel rods up here, it has to be perfect. You know, all of these pieces. This is gonna be hard. I'm just trying to see how close I can drill to the, uh, the side without it cracking. This fits right in. Oh, I'm so nervous. Just these little tiny holes right there. Frustrating, I made a mistake here, but um, I think it'll still work. All right, so uh, now I'm about to wood glue this thing together. I'm recruiting Sarah who just escaped because <laughs> she thinks that she looks bad, but she doesn't, I promise you. This has been so unbelievably complicated, okay? And I still think this is gonna fail. So just for the record, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 clamps. Good grief. So pretty much any time I ever do any kind of project like this, there's always a point where it's like, why did I try? This is not going to work. This was stupid. I should have just bought one for $200 somewhere that probably I wouldn't have even liked. But then it somehow just ends up coming together and we figure it out. There's normally a point where I just ask Sarah, I'm like, look, I can't figure this out. Please help me. I wouldn't be able to do it without her. Okay, I tried to do it with my wife being sick and I still needed her help, so. Not my finest moment, but we'll find out tomorrow if this works out, all right? We're gonna take off the clamps in the morning and we'll see the final results. Until then. The other sides are fine. I think what happened was like, these dowel rods are just putting too much pressure, like wanting it to separate. And I couldn't put a ton of wood glue just because it's such a small surface, but it's fine. I mean, it's not moving or anything. I think it's okay. Anyway, so I've got a solution because this is where the wheels are gonna go. Okay, it is fine. Is this the microphone on? Yes. Okay, it is finally done. I'm gonna go get Sarah and show it to her. Okay? Here it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I pull it? Yeah, pull it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's like all my dreams just came true today. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we bought this house, I said, wow, this would be great for a pull-out pantry right here. And now it's a reality. Here it is. This is the best thing ever. I, I want to fill it. Let's fill it with stuff. All done. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe it. I can't believe that much stuff fit in there. Wow. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. That looks so cool. All of that stuff just tucked away. Are you happy? Yes. Thank God. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't go according to plan, but you just gotta, you gotta keep going to Home Depot. <laughs> Looks great. Should I turn this off now?